So this is Stice's favorite bowl. It's a 60 watt one from Ikea. And I recently found this one at an antique shop today. It's pretty cool. It's very rare to find an intact bowl. This is a National Mazda 35 watt. And I like the base too, I can fix that up. But I noticed the filament is intact. So let's see if it still works. What would this be, 1930s? I don't know. Definitely not as old as Fran Blanche's bowl, but still quite cool. Uh, still quite cool. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off this light. Like so. And I'm never gonna run this at full power because I want it to kind of last a long time, but I like the way we have a dimmer switch on this. Oh, look at that. Bringing it up. So now I'm bringing it up slowly because if the, it wasn't in a vacuum, if it started smoking, I would turn it off. And then I would, I would actually get into some glass working and I would open up the top and pull a new vacuum on it. But it looks like the vacuum is good. Look at that. Wow. This is kind of mesmerizing. Holy cow. You know what, this light, it's a really white light. That is kind of amazing. It's a different color temperature. It actually burns brighter. That's kind of wild. And you know me, I'm gonna be very delicate with this bulb. Probably the first time this has been turned on and who knows how long. Maybe somebody used it as a resistive load. Let's see, just to check my eyes. This is the Ikea bulb. Yeah, this one's much wider. This one's yellower. Hey, Thice. Do you have a moment? Yeah. Do you want to come here and see this? This old 1930s bulb is actually like really, really white. They must really be overpowering it. So this is the Ikea bulb. Keep in mind, this is the Ikea bulb. Okay, so it's 60 watts. And now we're putting in the 1930s, maybe 1940s, Mazda National Bulb. It's supposed to be 30 to 35 watts, but. Oh, wow. Isn't that wider? It's like really, really it white. It's almost like an LED. That's kind of, that is wild. They must really be overrunning that filament. Maybe they built them to a higher standard. That is so wild. Now granted, the newer bulbs, they want to run them at a uh, lower power so they're more yellowish, so they give that like nostalgic warm feeling. Right. But it's just interesting. Oh, the boiler snake is here. They're turning on the boilers in our, in our apartment building. That is so cool. So we might even like just run it like that. What do you think about that? Because yeah. that's like at 2% power and that would just last centuries. Go ahead. Isn't that cool? That is. And you notice it's a straight filament too. Like these ones, if I remember right, these ones, they're a spiral filament. Oh, is that one straight too? I think this one might be straight. Oh, okay, straight. so it's a straight tungsten. But is that on maximum? Yep. Okay. Wow, oh man. That's maximum. That is, that that is 35 really, watts, really? That's really bright. <laughs> wow. 
We definitely won't be running it at maximum most of the time. Because also maybe our voltage is higher here. You wouldn't want to burn out a 90-year-old mm -hmm. bulb. I'd hate it. You know, <laughs> I almost want to keep it at like that. <laughs> just to... Just to preserve it a little. Yeah, and plus, you know, you don't really need a whole lot just for the bar light. But that was like good. Mm-hmm. That was pretty cool. That was worth $8, especially since they got the fixture with it. <laughs> the fixture. I should print, I should make something, I 3D print something for that to go on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.